when Stuart Taylor Jr. and Ed Yingling penned their uh, now famous op-ed for the Wall Street Journal, they had no idea the floodgates they were opening. Alumni were coming out of the woodwork to better understand how could they be a part of this movement. Well, a way for us to bring these people together was through the first annual Alumni Summit on Free Expression here in D.C. Alumni came from, the, at the time, 12, 13 member groups of AFSA to celebrate all things related to free expression and the alumni movement. Resources and knowledge were shared, networking was done, and now we hope to take it to the next level with the second annual summit. We're going to have powerhouse speakers there. We're going to have even more alumni in attendance. Right now, AFSA is at 14 member groups with more on the way. This is a chance for us to really come together and realize we are not alone in this effort. Alumni can come and see that they are one of many and that together they can affect so much change than they ever could just by themselves. Mm -hmm.